Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Game Aim Plus, where my aiming is gaming. I am your host, the Boy G, and oh, we gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. But first, you sitting right there watching me, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click that little bell button, like the video. I would greatly appreciate it. That would make you even greater and greater than what you are right now. But we gonna get into it. Okay. All right. We are going to talk about The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, both releasing separately on the Nintendo Switch. Yes, the Nintendo Switch, okay? Now, listen to me. Okay, there's been all these crazy rumors going around, right? Talking about that, oh yeah, that you know, Wind Waker and uh, Twilight Princess, they're going to release separately on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's going to be so great, man. Oh, I can't wait, blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay. Forget the rumors. I'm not even gonna, I don't care about the rumors. We ain't gonna talk about the rumors. What we're gonna talk about is Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess releasing on the Nintendo Switch sometime this year, okay? Mind you, this is the year of the ports, okay? And this is what I, I feel like they're just gonna drop a whole bunch of ports and remaster remakes on the Switch, okay? They haven't really announced much yet, but I feel like maybe halfway in the year they're gonna really start dumping these ports on us like crazy, okay? So, and I. You know, I used to think they were going to do it like in a combo pack, but they honestly, they might not even do that. They might just release Wind Waker and Twilight Princess separately by themselves because why not? They're two big games. They're not small games that you could, that you just had to compact together because they're enormous games. Okay, these are full-blown HD bad mamma jammas, okay, that you probably shouldn't even, it's like disrespectful maybe sometimes to even think about putting them together in one game. So... You know, maybe they'll just release it, Wind Waker by itself, Twilight Princess by itself, okay? Now, if they did this, you know, how would the pricing go? Would they give it $60 a pop, you know, and try to get as much money as they can? Probably, and, you know, and they could probably do that, because this is Nintendo. They just do things like that, and we, as their fans, we are so loyal and faithful to them that we would pay $60 a pop for these games on the Switch. We literally would. I know I would. Okay, with no issues. Now, if they really want to be sensible and very, you know, you know, uh, um, nice, <laughs> make them forty dollars a pop. You know, they might not do that. You know, but it would be really great if they did. Okay, they did it with the Metroid Prime Remastered, you know, version. They did it forty dollars for that. Surprisingly, um, but I was perfectly fine with that. You know, I, I paid, I bought mine, I did my thing, played it, boom, bomb, bitty, bing. I'm cool. So if they want to make Wind Waker and Twilight Princess forty dollars, who am I to stop them? I would even greatly, even gladly buy it. If I didn't have a problem buying it for sixty dollars, why would I have a problem buying it for forty dollars? You know, but these are two really great games. They are in my top five Zelda games. Okay, you know, and then these two games, like so for some reason, a lot of people like they loved, but then there was a lot of people that didn't like these games. Okay, they didn't like Wind Waker because it was too cartoony. It looks like Saturday morning cartoons. I don't want to play this little baby kitty Zelda game. Okay, then don't play it. Go walk that way. Go somewhere. Don't play the game. Nobody's forcing you to play the game. I love the game. Did I think it was weird at first? Yeah. Was I not used to this? No. Okay, but who cares? It was like, just play the game. It was a great game, mind you. And I'm so glad that I played it because it might be... It, it might be my like my number two Zelda game ever. Okay, I love Wind Waker. I love the whole cartoony style, the, the the art design, everything. I loved it all. Okay, Toon Link was amazing. I had no problem with this game. Um, so I don't know what's wrong with you weirdos. Now Twilight Princess, a people a lot of people didn't like it because I don't know. I don't know why I didn't like that one. I guess because of the whole Twilight world and and it being like some darkish like uh, thing and it was like I, you guys are weird. Like just accept these games for what they are. Okay, they're both different. They're both great in their own different ways. Okay, I didn't mind the whole darkness of whatever it is, the, the dark path that they took with Twilight Princess. I was cool with it. I thought it was, it just, the game was phenomenal. Okay, I don't know what, pe what people's issues was with Twilight Princess. I really don't. Like, until this day, I don't understand it. Okay, it was a great game, great adventure, great temples, great bosses, great weapons, great everything. You know, the, the, the double claw shots. I was swinging around like Batman, Fuse, Spider-Man. You know, that big old Beyblade you get to use as a weapon. Look, those were unique. 
and very cool. Okay, I like them. So I don't know what you guys found it with. And the Wind Waker was just, just fantastic. It, that was like the first big open world Zelda game, if you really want to think about it. It was open world. Was it on land all the time? No. It was open sea. But that would that's awesome. That is awesome. We get to travel the seas in your own little baby boat and just 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 sail and just go. And then unless you had the, the wind song where you get to just trans teleport yourself with a big old tornado. But you didn't have that, you got the you had to sail everywhere. It was great. I loved to had to, to discover these islands on my own and check them out and see what was on, what it what it contained, what treasures. Like it was great, okay? The, and Twilight Princess with the whole transforming into a wolf mechanic, that was great. I like Wolf Link. Okay? It was came tedious and weird at times, you know, when you had to transform into a wolf and look for these little these little Twilight tier things and whatever. Um, but it is what it is, okay? The Wolf Link was really cool and I like that I was able to transform into Wolf Link. You know, that was a new thing. You never really got to transform with Link until Twilight Princess, so I thought it was great. Um, so yeah, you know, these two games, they might actually go and drop them separately, you know? And, you know, who cares, okay? We're gonna buy them, so let's not even complain about it. You're gonna buy the game, so don't sit there, don't complain, don't cry. Oh, why can't it just be in a double pack? Or, oh, why didn't it just come on in Switch 2? Or, oh, why wasn't this out before? Like, just shut up, just shut up. Pay the money, buy the games, play, have fun, enjoy, okay? I have both of these games, okay? I got them both on the GameCube. I have them both on my Wii U, and now I want them both on my Nintendo Switch, you know? And if not on Nintendo Switch, then Nintendo Switch 2. But who knows, okay? Just bring it out this year, though, the year of the ports. I don't care about the rumors. I don't care what they're saying. I'm, I'm going to talk about the games and what I would like, and I would be totally down with this, okay? So would a whole bunch of other people out there, you know? So come on, bring it on. I'm ready for these Zelda games again. Okay, they're both in my top five Zelda games, so I'm on go. But, yeah, I don't know. You know, forget the rumors. That's what I think about it. You know, you guys let me know how you feel about, you know, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess dropping on the Switch separately this year of the year of the ports. You know, how would you feel about that? Put in the comments, talk to your boy, and let's chitty chitty chat. I'm with it. But, there you go, guys. Game Aim Plus, please subscribe, click that little bell button, that way every time I upload a new video, it'll pop up on your phone like, you feel me, dog? You feel me? But yeah, y'all have a great morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at, and I'll catch you in the next one. Boo, y'all!